This is the black box recorder from Joko. It's a 24 channel multi-track recorder that requires an external USB hard drive for your data. Well the hole, the hole, I'm not sure about the hole. We'll come back to the hole. Um, That's good in case the headphone, no, the, There's this thing that looks like a wheel off an iPod. It's got this button in the centre, but the button in the centre is not actually a button. I've had a play with it and, and from someone who's a bit of a lighting dinosaur, I, I go in there and there's things I recognise. Sure. There's, there's palettes, there's yep. groups. Um, the groupings, the groupings really cool. Yeah, it's you really powerful. Lot, like, there's mm. a, all the groups you could ever want. So getting back to the relationship thing, I mean, I guess it, it, it really get the catalyst is when you have kids. Yeah, and I mean, you know, there's, there's a high rate of divorce at the moment, which is a sad factor. <laughs> um, but you know, it. It happens, people try and work through this thing and I guess it's, you know, each for their own sorting out, you know, how they're going to work It is hard, it's really hard. Cirque du Soleil Worldwide are grieving after 31-year-old performer Sarah Giagiot, a mother of two, died during a performance of Car in Las Vegas. The performer fell a distance into a stage pit towards the end of the show. It, for me, it was, uh, as, as a kid, I was a nerd. I used to build electronic kits from the, the hobby shop and stuff, and some days they even worked. But for me, it, it was when the LED went from being a, a red indicator diode, we started seeing the super bright LEDs, then we saw white LEDs. Mm. That was a big thing. And now if you look at it, the, the diodes and, and the chips that we're looking at now don't even look anything like an old LED. You know, sort of the panel indicator style is totally different. They've got big, big heat sinking plates and stuff on the back. And that's, that's all sort of a function of development. What is it? It's a Rare Audio RA-VEX15-500R, which is possibly the longest model name I've ever seen on a speaker. Yeah, okay, what does that mean? Um, well, I guess what, what that means is it's a 15 in horn, there's a 15 and a one and a half inch HF driver. Um, and a wobble board. <laughs> Yeah, we've removed the grill for purposes of being able to illustrate what's inside. We actually removed all the drivers as well to find out what they are and where they're Because from. we were worried about the thing being so light at 21 kilos. We found out why that is, didn't we? Yes, it's, um, it's light there's nothing because in there. there's not much in there. No. Um, and from that to the fire machine of death. This is a rather pleasing gadget I've just bought from China. It's a DMX controlled fire machine. Power switch activates gas. Mm. Nice, mm. tasty. Because that's not at all dangerous. Where is the money? Someone took the box office from Pete's Ridge Festival and now performers and production are owed over $1.5 million. Liquidators have named Matt Grant festival promoter as a person of interest in their hunt for the missing money. Karma is a bitch and I certainly hope that he's dating her. I also wanted Francesco to talk to the camera. Oh. Why? The camera's not asking the freaking questions. Go sit over there. Oh. Hello, yes, Julius. So, it's nice to talk to you. It's going really well. So, all up, good show, Francesco. Yes, it was. So, <laughs> can you. About the beard. It's a panel. We're here talking. <laughs> about, We're not talking the freaking oh, cameras. So, we, look, we've, we've talked TV lighting. Let's, 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 let's talk, talk about, about the beard. The beard. King Kong is off and climbing at the Regent Theatre with lighting designed by Peter Mumford and audio designed by Peter Hylensky. Production designer Peter England completes a theme where everyone important is called Peter. Okay, welcome to Gearbox. Today we've got Jeff McKenzie with us from Jans. Jeff, welcome. Joined now by Amanda from Ross Video. This is the Carbonite, Ross's switcher that was created, I believe, to fill a market gap certainly was. Uh, we found that there was a gap in the market for a mid-range production switcher. Mm. So we came out with our Ross Carbonite range of switches, uh, last NAB. Darling Harbour is the home of the three big industry trade shows, Intec, Simti and Integrate. But after this Christmas, this entire centre will be demolished and a new centre built. It'll take three years to build. So where will the shows go? Let's find out. Isn't this wonderful? Here we are at Glebe Island. 2 kilometres from the bridge, 4.6 kilometres on foot from the city, and by comparison when Integrate was at Moor Park, that was 3.5 kilometres from the city. Point of difference being that there were pubs all the way, so where's the nearest pub? Let's go find it. Some people call him the space cowboy, some people call him the gangster of love, but to us he is the gaffer gimp. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Joining me today in the Gearbox studio is Andrew Ma from Jans. Andrew, welcome. Hello, Jimmy. You're here to talk to us today about the Stage CL console from Jans. Yep, this is our new console that's aimed at people who are wanting to control a mix of conventional luminaires and an LED rig. Why? Because <laughs> everyone else does. Did you know there's a band called The Beards? No, no, they do songs such as Born With A Beard and No Beard No oh, Good. I'm going to tell you the short, the short thing. We were sitting around about, this is about six years ago now, hmm. talking as you do, I'd just gotten divorced and everything else and, and talking Again? About, no, once, not like you, I'm not a serial divorcer. Can't talk. <laughs> Jesus, bloody Jar Jar Gabor over here. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Grafton. <laughs> I resemble that. <laughs> Good. Basically, what we're looking to see is how the frequency response of the microphone changes once it gets wet. This is really cold, by the way. Um, so let's find out if it works underwater. Here we go. So there we go. Looks like it actually survived. Okay, I'm joined today by Casper Gissel from GLP Lighting. Casper, welcome to the show. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. Thanks a lot. Today we're here with Phil Webb from Bosch Communications. Phil, welcome to the show. It's nice to be here. Okay, I'm joined today on CXTV by Ken Kamira. He's the Re Asia Pacific Regional Sales Director for DPA Microphones. So I got that right? That's right. <laughs> Excellent, That's right. Ken. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you, you very joining much. Us. Thank you for having me here. Simon Barrett from Show Technology joins us on Gearbox today. Simon, thanks for coming uh, along. No problem. Thanks for having me. Hey, you're welcome. I'm joined on Gearbox today by Philip Brainwood from Interlink System Solutions. Philip, welcome to the show. Thank you. The Australian section of the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, better known as SEMPTI, are refusing to answer questions regarding funding. CX asked how more than a million dollars will be spent this year following the July SEMPTI convention in Sydney. Without SEMPTI there'd be a lot of chaos and uh, we bring order to this really um, technically challenging field. We're about membership, standards and education. Specifically, we asked how much is returned to support the Australian industry. SEMPTI appears to operate without incorporation in Australia and the business name and local website are held by a commercial event firm. SEMPTI's American office told CX they will not comment on commercial matters. 